So I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is book number two in the Dresden Files series by Jim Butcher. This one is called Full Moon and I read this as part of the TBR takedown. I also read it as a buddy read so I'll link the people I buddy read it with below. And let's get into this. So I read the first one half a month ago. Really was a bit hit and miss on it. I thought it was good and I thought it had the potential to grow but I wasn't sure what was going to happen and I wasn't certain that I was going to love it. So I ended up giving the first one three out of five stars and we are planning in our buddy read group to read two of them a month until we finish up the series. So I started this one on the first of the month and I read it and I actually enjoyed it a hell of a lot more than the first book which is awesome so I feel like this is definitely a series I'm looking forward to finishing up and looking forward to getting deeper into now that I have read a book that was better than a three star read so let's get into what it's all about. In this book we are following Harry Dresden once again who is the main character of the series when he gets himself stuck into some rather wolf related situations. Harry's character was rather irritating at points of the book, I did mention this in my Stormfront review. And in this book I felt like his character was definitely developed a lot more and I liked him a lot more as a character which is great. I still don't fully understand him, there's a lot more to him that we haven't discovered yet, like his whole backstory, we don't know an awful lot about that and I definitely am looking forward to seeing more of that. I felt like some of his actions in the first book were a little bit misogynistic and I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to enjoy him being the lead character for all of the books but actually I feel like Jim Butcher does that intentionally and I don't feel like it is wrong or anything like that. I feel like it's quite an intentional character flaw within Harry Dresden and that makes it more interesting than if it's just he's been written that way because why not? I think it is intentional. I am thankful to announce that the comments of she looked cute, she looked sexy, etc etc which were very very prevalent in book number one have definitely been toned down a lot more for book number two so even though they were still there every now and then it was a lot more manageable, a lot more of a normal level and I felt like that was fine so I enjoyed that a lot more. And I also think that his views on how helpless women are was certainly tested in this book. I feel like Jim Butcher did write some interesting female characters who can clearly stand up for themselves and they make Harry himself question his personality and his character and the things that he believes. So the plot of this one begins a few months after the ending of book number one and we see that Harry has kind of been left out of the loop a little bit since the first book. He did some things in the first book that people didn't really agree with and they didn't really like the way he handled the situation so he's been kind of left on his own most of the months that we haven't seen him and he's kind of running low on money his private investigation job that he has isn't really paying that well and the police haven't called him in very often so they've not been paying him very well so he's kind of at a loss of what to do in order to get money and keep afloat. Of course all of this quickly changes when a string of murders are uncovered and it seems like there's some wolfish links going on that are kind of magical potentially. It looks as though a wolfish creature or a wolven creature has been involved in these attacks and these murders so Harry is quickly called in. I found myself really enjoying the flow of this book compared to the first one. I felt like it flowed better, I felt like the writing was more interesting and I do feel like Jim Butcher is getting more into the feeling of urban crime fantasy novels and he kind of knows the tone of voice and the pacing that he needs to do in order to make it a successful one. I also felt like this one was more faster paced and I read this one very quickly as well like the first one. I did feel like it was easy to get into whereas the first one I felt a little bit clunky to me this one felt easy to sort of slip back into the character and enjoy his storyline again because obviously we didn't need the setup of the first book. I also really really enjoyed the mythology that Jim Butcher created for the wolves because they're not normal werewolves we have different types with different mythologies and different culture around them. It wasn't just the regular werewolf silver bullet full moon stereotype it was actually a few different types of wolves that we saw and we encountered and each one had their own history and each one had their own way of being created and turned into a werewolf. So I really enjoyed that. I would have to say that Bob and Mister are quickly becoming my two favourite characters. Bob is a kind of floating talking head who is very very knowledgeable on everything to do with wizards so he's kind of like a wizard computer essentially but he's more of a live skeleton which is quite creepy and cool. He's also very misogynistic but with him it's definitely intentional and that's a part of him 
as a personality flaw. He's just really entertaining to read about though so that kind of makes up for it in a way because he's just he's very funny to read about and I enjoy whenever he comes onto the stage because he kind of mocks Harry a little bit for his love life and things like that and it's, it's quite a funny relationship that the two of them have. And then Mr is a giant oversized cat who lives with Harry and he kind of always shows up at the most inconvenient times so I really enjoy it whenever he comes into the story as well even though he's very briefly there. Overall I think that the story is definitely starting to expand a bit more and I'm looking forward to seeing the development of Harry as a character. The mystery element was not amazing, it wasn't mind-blowing, but it was definitely better than the first book. I felt like there was more going on and it was more interesting to read about and all of the characters intrigued me for their own reasons and the plot was more involved and Harry kind of knew more about what he was doing. So on the whole it just flowed better as a story and I feel like I'm looking forward to book three and then I've heard that after book three things get really intense and exciting so can't wait to get to that point because I'm sure it'll be very cool and yeah I'd love to hear your thoughts if you guys have read this let me know in the comments below. I ended up giving this a four out of five star rating I really did enjoy this one and I'm hoping that my ratings just continue to go up and up with each of the books so fingers crossed that is the case let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you all very very soon in another video Thank you for watching. Bye. Me and you gonna have a little chat about the